Sharpedo is beautiful. Beautiful! It's literally the Donna Donna of, of the Pokemon series. Literally! Literally! There you go. Damn! You did good damage to that normal. Not bad, Kino. Alright. Level up. And skull that bitch! <laughs>
damn. So much for the specialty of that of that move she gave us. Oh well. It, it was still special in Kalos though. That being said though, I forgot to go over something even more important. Changes to my team! So yeah, let me go and do that real quick like. There you go. In the case, you'll notice right away, I caught myself a Nuzleaf. Well, not a Nuzleaf. I basically caught myself a um, C dot on um, Route 102. So yeah, I went back to Route 102, did some level grinding for C dot. It evolved into Nuzleaf at level 14. Now, my Nuzleaf, as I nicknamed Kino, reference to Chrono Trigger, by the way, if you didn't know, Grass Slash Dark is a really good combination. The problem with C Dot's evolution line is that it has like seven weaknesses, but it's not entirely a bad thing because Nuzleaf can learn moves that can counter most of its weaknesses. So you yeah, already have a nice final in-game move set laid out for um what what will be Shift Tree its final evolution soon enough, which can only be gotten via use of a Leaf Stone. And oh yeah, viewers, here's another thing that I want to show you. Now, here in Marvel, there's a guy named Enver that, you, that has certain battles called Inverse Battles. Now, here's the thing with Inverse Battles. And they are really fucking annoying. The thing is, Inverse Battles, after Inverse is defeated, he will, or after Enver is defeated, he will give you an item, depending on how well you did in battle. And Inverse, um evaluation of the player is based on a score calculated by subtracting the number of successful non very effective attacks against the player that uh, attacks the player made from the number of super effective attacks the player made so basically if you basically scored better with not doing very effective moves and stuff like that. It, it is a really annoying battle mechanic and stuff like that that it took me like a couple hours just to figure out but eventually I managed to get the hang of it and I got myself a couple stones out of the deal got myself a shiny stone and a leaf stone got the shiny stone on my second um try at the fight got a leaf stone on my fifth attempt so yeah, if you get seven to nine points, um, in the you know, in the inverse battles, he will give you some evolution stones, ranging from fire, water, leaf, thunderstones, moonstone, sunstone, shiny stone, dawnstone, duskstone, and everstone. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, I have a leaf stone, so I can evolve my Nuzleaf into a shift tree at any time. But I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to wait a little while until he gets the rest of the moves. The thing is, once Nuzleaf evolves into Shift Tree, um, Shift Tree can't learn some of the moves that Nuzleaf would continue to learn in its evolution set. So you know, there you go. No, uh, Shift Tree has its own set of attacks it can learn, and a lot of them are very powerful. So you know, there you go. Otherwise, the that though, I taught my Gyarados, Bulldoze, and Dragon Tail in that in that um, recording I did. As well as replacing Peck with Aerial Ace, um, and um, Double Kick with Low Sweep for Combuskin, for Pika Baby. Um, you can get the Rock Smash TM from Wally's uncle, whom you encounter here in town, in front of the gym. So there you go. It's in a, it, it is an HM form, unfortunately. So oof. I also taught Pika Baby Volt Switch, which will be very useful later on. As far as Guardy is concerned, Guardy, I taught Guardy. Um, Heal Pulse. I think I learned it at level 19, I think it was. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was level 19. I, I had to reload my save state because I forgot how useful Heal Pulse is. So, yeah, I had to reload my save state, get the levels back up for Curlia. And Heal Pulse is, is a really good healing type move. It's like recover, but a little bit better. Um, She also learned Draining Kiss at level 23, which basically... Um, it's, it's, see, it's a 50 type um, special based fairy type move and it does damage and restores the, um, the user's HP by 75% so yeah Guardi is, Guardi is becoming even more OP she's close to that garden bar waifu status that, that I'm sure you all want to see you will see soon enough 
That being said, though, this is the Marvel um, food court here. Now, you can act as a waiter in there, I believe. Just like back at the um, the Village Bridge in, um, in, in black and white. The thing is, um, it's alright, I guess. But I, I don't know if I feel like wasting my time with it. That being said, though, I'm trying to find where the spot is. But this city is so fucking huge that I can't find anything. Even going through here a second time, I still am like, bruh, where the fuck is everything? It should be over here somewhere. Okay, that's definitely not it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this guy. Now, um, yeah. If you talk to this guy with a fully evolved starter Pokemon, he can teach them the ultimate moves. Blast Burn, um, Frenzy Plants, and Hydro Cannon. This lady here can also teach your starters the pledge moves from Gen 5. So, you know, there you go. Just keep that in mind. Now, where was his shop at? Here it is, right here, the inverse battle shop. So yeah, talk to the guy in front there, you gain access to the inverse battles. So I just wanted to show you guys where that was. But yeah, there is a lot of fucking um, places in this damn city. But yeah, the, the more important of which is the bike shop. It is here on the ground level, I just don't remember where exactly it is. I could have sworn it was next to the... Wait a minute. There it is. Yeah, Rendell's Bike Shop. Now, you might have noticed in my menu I had the mock bike. You can get two different types of bikes from Rendell here. You can either get the mock bike or the acro bike. The mock bike goes really fast. And remember that dirt hill that we saw back in Granite Cave? Yeah, you can go up that hill with the mock bike. With the acro bike... It's more, it's a little slower, and it, it, but it can perform technical jumps and stuff like that. Very useful for a couple areas, so just keep that in mind. Now that we got the Rock Smash HM, how about we pay another visit back to the Trick Master's place? There's a new puzzle waiting for us to do. I'll meet you there, and I'll be right back. Alright viewers, we're back at the Trick House again. In any case, where is this guy? Huh, could've sworn he was at the same spot. Come on, bro. Where are you? I don't got time for this BS. <laughs> Where the fuck are you hiding? I thought he'd be a up. Uh, there you go. Well, there's not many spots here you can hide at. Now, you come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? Yes, I have. Challenge accepted. But yeah, just like the last time. Yoink! He'll be waiting in the bed for us. But yeah, in order to do the second Trick Master puzzle, you need the Rock Smash HM, obviously. And it needs to be on your Pokemon. Crackly Clack, Mecha Doll 3 AI. Wait, what? Do you feel confident? An escape rope, only 550. You better buy one. Uh, I don't need one. You should buy one. Bruh. Alright, fine, I'll buy one. Quickly, Clank. Nice doing business with you. What was the point of that? Like, is there a need for you to be in all caps, bro? But in any case, just like the last time, we got to... Ah, we got to find the scroll that's over there, which is right down there. Unfortunately, we got trainers to get through. And I might as well show off at least one trainer so I can show off my new Nuzleaf in battle. Alright! Ugh. 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 I hope it doesn't have effects for. In any case, the nice thing about Nuzleaf's line is that it's more so a physical grass fighter. Kind of like Breloom, in a way. However, there are obvious subtle differences. That being said, though, yeah, not a lot I can do here. However, sick! Ooh, not bad! Ow! <laughs> How's this fucker? Rock tap! Oh, about to say! <laughs> I forgot I gave him the quick claw. Damn, I can freak out there for a sec. Wait, like, wait, what? There you go. Beautiful fly! 
And oh yeah, viewers, if you're going to be using the Nuzleaf line, make sure that you have a rock move on them. Because it's going to be quite a long time before we gain access to Rock Slide. So Rock Tomb will be lasting a while on your Nuzleaf. And granted, Nuzleaf has four types of this move against that are all weak to Rock Moves. So, hint, hint. Hint, Rock Tomb! Suck on my rocks, bitch! There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful! Huh. You didn't study hard enough. Back to class with you. Why are you even here? <laughs> In any case. Thank you, Pika Baby. Alright, let's get this. Rage can Ooh! A rage candy bar. That's rare. Why would they give us a rage candy bar though? I can understand the use of it back in the uh, back in the Unova games for you know for that Darmanitan. Huh. But what use does it have here in Gen um here in Owen? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Yoink! Needless to say, I don't recommend having your Pokemon eat that, because it might be useful for something. I'll do some research on it and see. Ah. Yoink, 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 yoink! Ew! There you go. That rock out of here. Alright, we got more trainers here, and unfortunately, they are Pokemon Rangers! Why? Yeah, I recognize those outfits any fucking wear. <sighs> Whatever. I'll take them on off screen. I'll be right back. Alright, viewers of Mac, managed to write down the code. Whew, man. Luckily, though, the Gen 6 Pokemon Rangers aren't that big of a deal. They are still annoying, though. We get another Rage Candy Bar. Now, the thing is, you can't get this unless you take this guy down first. Meaning you have to go all the way around the, the obstacle here just to get to him, kick his ass, and then get the Rage Candy Bar once you're on the way out. So, yeah. I adore Trick Master. Mm, that's kind of far-fetched. In any case, how's it going? Oh, you made it this far, have you? Sharp. Took me all night to shove in those boulders. <laughs> shove in. Fuck it! <laughs> no. In any case, you're almost my equal in greatness in all those places. And we get a hard stone. Wow, what a shock! From a rock smash puzzle, we get something that increases rock type moves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wow. In any case, let's get out of here. Now, there is another puzzle that we can do. So we might as well just get it done now. Since we're already here. Alright, where are you hiding this time? <sighs> Ali Ali Oxen, bitch! Is he hiding behind the same thing? Maybe not. Where the fuck are you? How, how the fuck is he hiding in there? You know what? Don't I don't even want to know. But yeah, in any case, let's continue our next challenge. Yoink! Now, for this challenge, you need the use of the move Flash, which luckily in Gen 6 is a TM. <laughs> So, technically, you don't necessarily need it. I mean, you probably will want it because, you know, it's a little dark in here. But not dark to the point of it being Rock Tunnel Gen 1 dark. No, that was pure dankness. This is just, well, dark. But it does have some light in it. So, yeah, you're going to have to, unfortunately, navigate yourself through here. It's called Dark Deception, the name of the puzzle, that is. Luckily, though, I have myself a map. <laughs> All right, the scroll is all the way on the eastern side of the of the um, of the puzzle. Fortunately, we got trainers up in this bitch too, so there's that. All right, move, bitch. Thank you. How the fuck do you get out of here? Wow. Okay. Keep it moving. Thank you. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, now I get it. 
Ugh. Welcome! Bitch. <laughs> Double trouble! <sighs> Fine, I might as well show off these duo. Ugh. Been a while since we had a, a a double battle anyway, so I figure I'm out. Carvana. Such a shame I'm not using Sharpedo in this playthrough. Oh, Sharpedo is beautiful. Beautiful. It's literally the Donna Donna of of the Pokemon series. Literally. Literally. There you go. Damn. You did good damage to that Numble. Sensational. Not bad, Kino. Alright. Level up. And skull that bitch! <laughs> it literally looks like he's literally shooting a fucking water gun at him. But it's hot water. Master. Yes, Master. No, no. Let us establish the pecking order. Mm, yeah. They're just seasonal workers. They're not his, uh, servants. That beach is weird. Huh. Then again, we don't know what this trick master is into. We don't even know the guy. We just know that he's, you know, good at setting traps and puzzles and shit. Hmm. Now that I think about it, that's kind of sus. In any case, we get the Luminos Gal... Galette? What the fuck is that? I've never gotten that before. A popular tree in Lumino City it can be. Oh! oh! Okay, so this is like the lava cookie. But, you know, a Kalos lava cookie. Oh! That's pretty nice. Alright, so tell me, how am I going to get through here? Huh, let me guess. Is the answer. Oh! The fuck is this? Huh. Oh, there's a downstairs? Wow, okay! Nice! It leads right to the scroll! Oh, that is cool. Alright. Ah. Get another Luminous um, Galette. There you go. I think... Are those, like, chocolates or something? Hmm. Galette. I don't know. It, so it sounds like it's a chocolate treat or something. In any case... At least I can avoid most of the trainers in this puzzle. This one is the easiest of, of the three we've done so far. Trick Masters, kill. Alright, we can get out of here now. Woo! Ah, you made it! The case. We get TM92 Trick Room! Nice. Now, Trick Room is probably one of the best TMs in the game. The nice thing about Trick Room is that it allows slower Pokemon to go first in battle. Basically, it is kind of like, well, an inverse battle. But, well, not exactly inverse. You're inversing your opponents and your speed. So, yeah, Trick Room will allow the slowest Pokemon to go faster. It is a really useful technical move. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the next puzzle unlocked until we get the Strength Agent, which won't be for a little while. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Alright, let's head on back to Marville then. Alright, viewers, we're back in Marville. In any case, we need to figure out where to go to get our next gym badge. Now, unfortunately, seeing as I couldn't show you the Marville gym battle, which was a little bit of an annoyance, but, you know, it was a fun battle. So, I wish you could have been there. Ooh. I know. That being said, though, we have to get our fourth badge now. Now, the next place to go to get our fourth badge seems to be in... Loveridge Town. Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, there is a blockade that is cock-blocking us from getting there directly. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go all the way north, all the way western through Fall Arbor Town, then back down to the southwest, then back um, east again, back through here, and then back up north again. So basically, we're going to be going in a complete loop-de-loop -loop to get to Lovridge Town. It's going to take us a while to get there. So before we do that, let's go on a little side adventure to Vernon Turf Town. Yeah, let's go pay Wally a visit. If you recall, Wally is staying there at his relative's place. In any case, this is the Pokemon Daycare Center. Now, if you have two Pokemon here, you can have them, or the daycare people, raise them. 
Now, if you're lucky enough, you can find an egg. Don't forget, you need a male and female Pokemon to, you know, lay the eggs here, obviously. Um, that being said, though, there are some quotes, though. Now, if you get the, the two seem to be getting along like a house on fire, that means they have a 70% chance of dropping an egg. The two seem peaceful enough toward each other equals a 50% chance. But I have to say, those two don't seem to like each other that much. 20% chance. And if you're just if your Pokemon just flat out suck ass, those two would rather play with other Pokemon though and not with each other. Zero percent chance of finding an egg. So try your best to get the 70% chance when if you can, because if you do, that's your best bet of getting a Pokemon egg. Just so you know. As far as the Pokemon here on Route 117, you can find Zigzagoon, um, Illumise and Omega Ruby, um, Volbeat and Amphi Sapphire, Rosalia, Meryl, Oddish, and Surskid. Unfortunately, Surskid is, just like on Route 102, a 1% chance. So good luck finding it! <laughs> yeah, good luck finding it. Now, in any case, um, outside of that, oh yeah, here on Route 17, you can also catch something else with the Magikarp stick. Yeah, with the old rod. <laughs> you can also catch Goldeen as well. So, yeah, 35% chance, and they're only found at level 5. But luckily, since the daycare is like literally right here on the route, that's not really an issue for you. Or it shouldn't be, anyway. Yay! Now, once we get the good rod, which won't be until like later on in the game, we'll be able to fish up really good water types on this route. Like, um, corefish, for example. Remember Ash's corefish? Yeah, you can fish up your own on this route. So, you know, there you go. What's up, kid? The air is tasty here! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting drunk on air! No, no. But yeah, the air... The area must really make you high because a lot of people in this area are really fucking happy. Ah, uh, the air, the atmosphere. Ah. Uh. Hey yo, what the fuck? No, no, no. It, it is really not that. It's just the air in this area is cleaner, which I guess is the reason why Wally's parents wanted him to stay here around Verdanter because the air is clean as shit here. There's no pollution and and all that other shit here. So, yeah, pretty much. That being said though, how's it going? What do you think, aren't these flowers pretty? I planted them all. Good for you, good for you. That being said though, there is a hidden item over here. Uh, yeah, thank you. Now then, uh, what's this? Ooh, a Molite, nice. That can evolve your Maw Wild into, well, Mega Maw Wild. So, there you go. Alright, another Mega Stone. Awesome. In any case, I could have sworn it was a hidden item here. I guess they got rid of it in this in this port. Oh, well. In any case, Bird and Turf Town. Case. See that cave by the Pokemon? That's, there's a guy in there trying to bust up Boulder so he can bust through to the other side. It'd be great if you can get through, then it'd be an easy way to visit um, Rustboro. Hmm, interesting. And in any case, um, oh damn, I'm running out of time already, shit. I, I played around too much in that damn trick house. In any case, guys, we've arrived here in Verdant Turf Town, so let's go pay Wally a visit. Next time! If you guys enjoy, you know what to do, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so you're notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.